Okay, I'll take a picture of the uh, model number of the Samsung TV. You know, I talked to him and... <coughs> Sorry. I thought, you know, six or seven years for a new TV um, isn't very long for it to go bad, but, you know, they say that's kind of not true when I talk to them. Um, the mile number is UN55KU6300F is in Frank, X is in Zebra. Whoops, X is in X-ray, Z is in Zebra, A is in Alpha. Again, that's un 55 KU six three zero zero F X Z A, and um, anyhow, I had this at my cabin in the Smokies, and a guest told me it wasn't working, so I I, uh, I took it apart. I'm a technician by trade, and um, it actually was surprisingly, you know, simple. Not a whole lot there. There's two boards, a main board and a power supply board the power supply board was supposed to have like 13 volts coming out of it um, and several of the test points you know connectors going to the other boards um, I was only measuring three volts so I thought well that's a pretty good bet it's a power supply so I uh, I looked online on the first one I found they wanted hundred and eight dollars for it and I was trying to struggle a little bit with that because you know the whole the whole thing only costs about three three fifty now for a fifty five inch T V <coughs> Samsung that is. Um and so I ordered this new board. I haven't put it in yet, so that's gonna be coming up here soon. But um while I did find it uh somewhere else for nine dollars actually it cost me more for the shipping so my total cost into this power supply board is about 23 bucks so to me that's worth the worth the gamble uh like i said there's only two boards in this thing so it's either the main board or the power supply board the power supply board's definitely bad but while i was waiting um you know i'm a technician by trade and you know work for the military a lot of military stuff and we always troubleshot down the component level so i started checking some things and I checked, the, checked these four diodes here, and um, if you if you ohm across the diode, there's actually a diode setting on your, you know, most multimeters now, and um, if you, if you check most of them, um, they were, you know, they're going to have their bullies drop across it, and... Let me see if I can set this camera up somehow so you can see the meter and the... Oh, it doesn't seem like it's going to work very well. Hold on. Hey! There you go. I need a little tripod. I don't know if you can see the meter. You can kind of see it. I don't know, light's kind of blocking it. Let's see if I'm blocking this light a little bit. Uh, it makes it a little bit better, I think. Anyhow, if you measure across these particular two diodes on the old board, they're dead short, pretty much. Okay. The diodes next to them measure your normal bullies drop they're they're looking good and so when i got the new board i measured it and the two diodes that are shorter than the old board are have normal bullies drop across them on the new board so i'm pretty pretty uh confident uh at least part of the problem and it could be all the problem are those two shorter diodes on there like i say this is this is the old board here i wrote old on so i knew which was which and uh, I don't know if you can read the part number on them, but it's the two diodes uh, on the left next to that cap. And so, even though I ordered a new board, it didn't cost me much, I'm going to put the new board in. But I'll probably go ahead and try to replace those two diodes and see if uh, that fixes this, this board. For nine bucks, it's probably not worth it.
if you're paying a hundred bucks for them, it's probably worth it. So, anyhow, <laughs> I'm gonna pause, uh, install this new board into the TV, which isn't too far away, and I will be back. Okay, so I'm gonna put this new power supply in. No orientations like this. Um, I'm gonna put the screws in because they do ground to the chassis. There's one there, one there, one there. And there's uh, kind of a little different because it's <coughs> kind of light on a little bit, makes that help a little bit. And then there's not one in this corner. The standoff actually doesn't even line up with the board. But there are two screws that hold the uh, AC power receptacle. And I'm, I'm guessing you got two screws there to keep it stable when people are plugging and unplugging stuff. So that's probably why you don't have it in the back side. So anyhow, yeah, there's no screw that goes in the corner to go in here. One. Uh, here's the other one. Yeah, you get old mics like not as good as it once was. I wouldn't tighten them too much. You can, you can feel them tighten, but I wouldn't over tighten them because I'm guessing they probably strip. It's pretty thin. I think it's maybe aluminum. Uh, pretty, you know, for just for. The what lightweight? These TVs are so light now. Um, anyhow, I'll get I'll get those those in there. Now I'm gonna plug this thing in. And I'm gonna check a couple voltages, see what they are. All right, so I have this uh, power supply, you know, installed. I hooked up AC power right here. I got my meter on, uh, you know, volts DC, 20 volts, because I'm looking for, um, here's the ground right here. At least it goes to the chassis. Um, input, 100 to 240 volts AC, which is over there, 120 coming in for me. And then you got two different connectors. One says CM. 803 and CM 802 and then they give you some pins but it's kind of sketchy in the pin numbers unless I'm not quite reading it right but anyhow um, I just get three volts but here's uh, <clears throat> CNM 803 and I should be looking for 13 volts and if you see the meter I'm reading 12 8 there 12 8 there and I was reading three volts before, so I'm pretty confident that this power supply was bad. So I'm going to hook, uh, unplug it, hook the rest of the connector up, and fire this baby up, see if it works. Okay, so I plugged the two connectors in. Uh, one goes over to the main board. I think one's for the backlight. I'm going to check my voltages again. Because... You could have a bad power supply, but you could have something causing the power supply to go bad. So I'm going to look at my voltages again. And put this up here so you all can see it. See if I still have 13 volts. I still have 13 volts. So that's actually good news. So I'm going to try to fire this puppy up now and see what it looks like. Okay, I'm going to flip this up. Um, I didn't notice. I'm not going to show you because I don't really have a nice tripod. I'm kind of may do with a roll of tape and <coughs> a Dremel tool, but uh, the guy with a tripod, I'm going to flip this up, but I did notice after I power, put the power supply on, I do have a red light in the front now that I didn't have on the front before. Uh, so we're going to see if this thing comes on now. Oh, looky there. Does that look beautiful or what? Hopefully you can see that. The, the remote's not going to work very well because it's kind of sitting on the thing. But I'd say uh, I'd say this baby's working pretty good now. 
I'll put it back together, hang it up. If I do it quick enough, maybe I can uh, show you actually working on something. So if not, hey, it was pretty easy. Anybody can do it. Don't stick your fingers where they shouldn't be, and you'll, you'll be fine. Make sure you unplug stuff when, before you hook things up so you don't actually uh, send some type of search through some of the boards and damage them. But um, I think pretty much anybody could do this. <clears throat> Basic knowledge, a meter you can get for 40, 50 bucks probably now. Should be good. I'm gonna turn it off. Well, the remote doesn't really quite get down there because it's sitting on this foam. But uh, I don't look in there. There you go. Part of this one, um, it was pretty simple to take apart. You know, I obviously didn't show that in the video because I really didn't know what's going to be wrong with this thing or whatever. I wasn't planning on doing a video, but it's pretty simple. I mean, there's just a bunch of screws that go around the outside. I think there's probably 15 or so. And, uh, and then you just pop it off. I guess some of the new models don't have screws. You just kind of prime apart. But uh, either way, this this is a pretty simple process here. And aha, so aha moment. So remember the screw that I didn't have in place, the power supply board didn't line up to. It's close to the corner where the AC comes in. There's a deep uh, socket and that screw goes in right there. This is kind of comical. I, uh, I have a lot of trains here and I needed to get a, work on one of them and I've seen this little tool it says that you grab screws with well there's actually a couple of these that are recessed in and so I found this I actually ordered this tool for something else but yeah as you can see it it grabs a screw pretty slick little item and then we come over here because every time I drop the screw down this hole Right, oh, there you go. Every time I, it would fall upside down. Now you can start it with this thing, but you can't actually tighten it down. You won't get your tool out. But that came in really handy, and I just have, had it uh, for another purpose. Just ordered it. Okay, so I got all the screws put back in. Um, ready to put the mount on it. And get this baby back up on the wall. I'm not sure my camera will time out or not, but uh, we'll see. If not, if this is the end of the video, good luck. How to fix your Samsung 55-inch TV for 23 bucks. Okay, as you see, it's TVs working fine. I couldn't get it up on the mount by myself. Um, it's just too heavy, and you got to slide in a slot, and I can't adjust it by myself holding the TV. Um, so I'm gonna wait for help to do that. It's scanning for channels now. You'll you know because it was unplugged for so long everything you know all the caps everything <coughs> Dissipated so it lost all the information as far as um, Like your network and all that stuff so you'll just have to set that stuff up like you do a new TV but man for 23 bucks I actually bought another one from Costco for about 400 by the time you get tax and everything on it. And uh, I'm obviously going to take that one back. I don't know if you found any local channels or not. Uh, maybe not. Oh, there you go. Hey. Look at there. That's a, off, off the internet. Quality's not. <laughs> TV quality's fine, but the uh, picture quality from the. Source. Um, I don't know if any other channels have a little better picture quality, but we'll see. And man, this thing needs needs cleaning. I'll I'll see if I can hook up a Roku real quick to it. And see if we got a little better picture. Okay, that looks pretty good. And <laughs> now I got glare from the window, but. uh 
Roku's booting. There you go, folks. The Lions versus the 49ers. And I have no idea how the Lions blew this game, but they did. There you have it. $23 fix. Samsung 55 inch model. I'll give you the model number. I think I did it, and I'll give him a prescription too. So I'll take a picture of it quick. There you go. There's the model number, serial number, etc. Good luck. Have a great day. God bless you all.